குட் மார்னிங் வணக்கம் இன்னைக்கு நம்ம என்ன பார்க்க போறோம் அப்படின்னா பெட்ரிபேஷன் தேதி அதாவது டைம் இண்டிபெண்ட் பெட்ரிபேஷன் தேதி அப்படின்னா என்னன்னு பார்க்க போறோம் தேர் ஆர் டூ அப்ராக்சிமேஷன் மெத்தட்ஸ் நம்ம வந்து பார்த்துருக்கோம் ரெண்டு அப்ராக்சிமேஷன் மெத்தட்ஸ் இருக்குது ஒன்னு வந்து பெட்ரிபேஷன் மெத்தட் இன்னொன்னு வந்து வேரியேஷன் மெத்தட் பெட்ரிபேஷன் தீஸ் டூ மெத்தட்ஸ் ஆர் யூஸ்ட் டு டு சால்வ் த கார்டினல் வேவ் இக்வேஷன் வேறிகேஷன் for multi electron atom or poly electron atom is given by the formula h square psi n h square psi equal to e sin theta on the right now if we are going to let us consider the simplest atom simplest atom let us say helium it consists of two electrons right now more than one electron if you are going to say the charge on the charge on the nucleus is plus 2e the distance between the nucleus and electron 1 and the r1 tappa okay in the r1 okay okay in the r2 okay the distance between the two electrons r12 the hamiltonian operator constant but is constructed like i have already shown yes anyway now we have put the hamiltonian operator that construct pandrathu appadi yes anyway solli irukken neenga adha paarunga right now the h cap the hamiltonian operator for helium atom in in uh, atomic units adavu in atomic units la sim it is the simplest type of um, easier elderna nariya 4 pi epsilon and the mari term la theriyala right now so h cap equal to minus 1 by 2 del square minus 2 the first term of pathina this is the ham this is the hamiltonian kinetic energy and potential energy for electron 1 புரியுது this is for the term 2 இது வந்து for electron 2 புரியுது இது வந்து the inter electronic repulsion term the final term அதாவது the first term second term the third term the third term corresponds to inter electronic repulsion term because of this the schrodinger wave equation cannot be readily solved Uh, solve for me therefore in order to solve this approximation methods are used the approximation because uh, because of this term it cannot be split into two one electron wave equations one electron is the thaniya the thaniya pirikka mudiya adha illa idu irukiradha illa na rendu thaniya pirichi the solutions can be obtained the energies can be obtained okay adanal da irukku appo namu vandha enna solrom appadina the hamiltonian can be written in this form adavu idu vandu h cap and the idu vandu h cap not unperturbed beta idu vandu enna na first two terms undu unperturbed beta idu vandu pathina h cap prime h cap prime undu equal to 1 by r12 this is the perturbation term this is called a perturbation term appo neenga paathinga na hamiltonian is split into two parts one of them is the unperturbed term h cap not and this is called unperturbed hamiltonian idu vandu perturbation term h cap is the perturbation term and lambda is called perturbation parameter perturbation parameter ipo neenga idu paathinga na idu vandu smaller than that the perturbation term is always smaller than the unperturbation term idu romba smaller than that it is this term is larger than this term right now so if h lambda if lambda vandu onnu vechittinga na fully perturbation term is applied lambda equal to zero kodina there is no perturbation term there is no perturbation term kareya right now appo so, let, let us put lambda equal to 1 let us apply full perturbation to solve the schrodinger wave equation for helium atom okay so that uh, to take into account of this uh, perturbation term 
Okay, now in a particular, let us take this Hamiltonian. H cap naught, psi n naught. This is the, the, the total Hamiltonian. This is the total Hamiltonian. This is the unperturbed Hamiltonian. This cardinal real equation for unperturbed unperturbed term. Now, this is H cap naught, psi n naught equal to E n naught, psi n naught. Okay, where psi n, psi 1 naught, psi 2 naught, psi 3 naught are the eigen functions or the eigen functions of operator h cap naught and e1 naught and e2 naught, e3 naught are the eigen values of the corresponding eigen values for the for the corresponding wave functions. Eigen wave functions. If you are the total wave function, the total wave function is the sum of Zero order term. This is the first order term. This is the unperturbed term. This is the first order term. This is the second order term. This is the third order term. Upon this, that is my en. En equal to psi n equal to psi n zero. This is the power of the zero. Zero state. I got the psi n first order. Okay, lambda. This is the. And the second order is lambda square. Bono, but lambda equal to one in the thing. This is one to one body and one to one row. Similarly, en equal to en naught plus lambda en naught. This is the unperturbed energy. En naught is the unperturbed energy of the system. Lambda naught is the lambda en naught. Sorry, this is one to one. This is the first order perturbation, perturbed energy. First order perturbed energy. This is second order perturbed energy. Energy term. So, psi n, e n are the eigen functions, psi n are the eigen functions, e n are the eigen values in the, in the form of power series of lambda. That is lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, lambda 4. That is why we are able to do that. Psi n and e n are the eigen wave functions and eigen values in terms of power series of lambda of total Hamiltonian. Total Hamiltonian. Okay. Now let us uh, uh, since the higher order terms, since the higher order corrections, third order, fourth order, fifth order corrections are uh, very very small. They are considered as negligible. Therefore, we will consider here only the first order correction term. We will consider only the first order correction term. Yeah, no? The second order, third order, fourth order, na bande na umber small value of the correction in the number correction in the coming out energy in the correction in the coming out of the middle of the game one upon the number in the same number the higher order terms are neglected because they are very very small so we will consider only the first order perturbation theory in this okay but in the last is the first order perturbation theory now psi n equal to psi n naught plus lambda you know what you know you know the theory you know the theory so, if you want to know this is the uh, unperturbed spin wave function, eigen wave function. If you want to know, you know the first order character wave function, first order character wave function. Psi n1, psi n1 is the first order correction of the wave function. As we know now, this is mathematically obtained. Another, you first, you remember this. Uh, this is mathematically obtained, it is a TDS1, another in now it's called a first order wave function. Correct, correction wave function. Summation of m not equal to n is only in a bracket notation. Then I put it again, the notation is the integral value actually. Psi n 0, h cap psi n 0 divided by e n not minus e m not psi m not. Okay. So this is the first order wave function, first order correct, correction, corrected wave function. Okay, this is obtained mathematical, mathematically. And if you have en equal to, again by en equal to en naught plus lambda en, right. You don't know now, this is the first order corrected. The you don't know, you don't know, this is the unperturbed energy of the system. This is the first order energy correction, en prime, en prime or en1 equal to psi en naught h cap prime psi n 0 psi n naught equal to 
this is in the terms of bracket rotation yeah? this is in terms of integral form integral form is in the psi n psi n this is nothing but this is equal to this is equal to expectation value of the energy the perturbed energy the perturbation energy this is called perturbation energy this is called uh, perturbation parameter okay if it is equal to 1 then em not equal plus em over sin this is the expectation value or average value of uh, perturbed energy this is obtained by using expectation value theorem adhe mari em second order per, per, um, energy perturbation energy perturbed energy in calculate pani em 2 equal to psi n not idhe la idhe vandu 1 vandu right ah adhe mari em 3 en3 na 2 undu e idu kuda same a undu idhula same a da irukku idhula rendu na 1 3 na 1 appo undu en power en of n na ungala undu n minus 1 nu undu appo undu paathina for the calculation of for the calculation of the energy of nth order energy of nth order energy of nth order we require the we require the knowledge of we require the wave function psi n n minus 1 adav n vena n minus 1 we need to know the wave function of uh, second order correction second order correction okay so nama yerkave sonna mari nama undu the the higher order perturbed energy higher order perturbed energy vandu are very very smaller they are often neglected Okay, thank you for watching, Nandri.